We're back with an all-new format and a brand new name. This is Boss Battle. Welcome, everybody, to Boss Battle number 74, a show in which the writers of Insert Coin to begin to get together and talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby FJ Tom, and joining us as usual, it's Sorg. Sorg, what did you achieve in games this week? I'm behind the ones and twos, and I finished off some Call of Duty Ghost campaign, as well as starting on the Grand Theft Auto 5. Thanks to my lovely wife for that for Christmas. And uh, we'll talk about something else I've been doing on the iPhone that isn't porn. <laughs> Bobby? Porn. All right, Riz, what did you achieve this week in gaming? I've I've played so many games in my lifetime. But the Comomentum Monster from Battle Block Theater almost broke me. <laughs> if you don't know, Comomentum Monster is a, uh, a fur bottom feature done by the guys from Behemoth, the creators of the Battle Block Theater. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it made me rage quit. Wait, made me I, rage uh, quit. Chachi, what did you achieve this week in gaming? Uh, it, well, first, I accomplished uh, two major things. Um, oh. And along the lines of rage quitting, um, I, I bought... NHL 14 because it was on sale mm -hmm. and I also rage quit last week while playing that and I'll tell you why so I, I went through be a pro mode <clears throat> and I got drafted by the Toronto Maple, Maple Leafs that's not the... and okay. then that's I why went you rage through quit. <laughs> no 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 not even that I don't care which team drafts me because I can always just piss off the management and get a trade but um I went through the entire season. I was the uh, the goal leader, the points leader, rookie of the year. I won every title that I was eligible to win. Mm -hmm. At the end of the first round of playoffs, those fuckers sent me back down to the uh, minor hey. leagues, and I lost all of my titles. Oh, no. Aww. So I, I – I, I pissed off the management. I dissed them in, a, in an inter interview, which is a new feature, and – I uh, got traded to the Capitals, and as I told Riz, I don't care what medium mm -hmm. I, I'm playing, uh, what medium it is in, I don't like the Capitals. Mm -hmm. mm. So even in video game mode, I refuse to play for the Capitals. So I requested a trade. I got traded to Calgary and uh, won Stanley Cup with all my titles and everything, except for Rookie of the Year, which I'd have to start completely over for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the second thing I accomplished happened 30 seconds before you started the show, Bobby. <laughs> What's that? Um, uh, also on sale was uh, Lego Marvel Heroes, and I just beat that game. Nice. Like the story mode. I, I'm still far off from 100% because that's going to take a really long time, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I just beat the story mode. The credits are rolling right now. Awesome. So. Hopefully they're not as long as uh, Grand Theft Auto or Assassin's Creed 4. <laughs> It'll be there the rest of the night. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm, I'm going to let it roll, roll because um, I'm doing this right now, so we'll see. Okay. But uh, um, there was a cutscene along Marvel's uh, theme. <laughs> there was a cutscene halfway through. Um in which Nick Fury meets all these odd superheroes. Hmm. So. There's probably something at the end, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> no spoilers. Right. Yeah, no oh, spoilers. I'm spoiling the crap out of it. Bobby, <laughs> it'll take you 12 years to beat I know, this game. it will. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm playing it right now. and 12 it, years! It, it's okay. I mean, it, it took you how long to beat uh, Grand Theft Auto? I don't play video games as much as you guys. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just, I play on weekends. And you call yourself a gamer. I know. I, I don't know. Well, th which brings me to my achievement this week in gaming. <laughs> I went a whole week without playing my Xbox and my PS3 because I was in Las Vegas. And the way, the only way I survived, I brought my 3DS and I had Super Not Mario Land 3D Land with me. Bobby. That game is really fun. Bobby. 
What? Because you didn't have your Xbox and your PS4 with you, or your mm-hmm. PS3 with you, how much did you spend gambling? I lost a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I lost if, if, see, a I, lot all of I'm going to say is if you would have packed your Xbox, that wouldn't have happened. Yeah, I know, but it was too heavy to take across the country and just, you know. But but like like I said though, more I play I had Mario, I had my uh, my new Nexus uh, seven tablet and played games on that, so it's not like I didn't have anything to game with, but I miss my Xbox. All right. Well, that, we're going to go to our uh, next part here. We're going to talk about Loot Crate because Loot Crate came out this week. Um, what was your favorite item from Loot Crate, guys? Wait, what? I actually came out right before Christmas. Oh, I was going to say this week? I'm like, I didn't no, get one. No, yeah, not this week. What are right you talking about? Christmas. I didn't get one. Oh, my God. In the span. It came out in the span that we were on hiatus. <laughs> okay. All right. I thought, like, oh, God, they're going to spoil everything for me. No. The 20th sword. The 20th. Okay. okay. All right. What All was right. your favorite items, guys? You know, I by chance wore this shirt tonight. I didn't even know we were going to talk oh, about nice. it. But uh, <laughs> wife uh, doesn't like it. Wife that So it's the shirt that the wife is not going to steal. Uh, but wow. she did wear the walking dead like one to Christmas. But uh, I guess yeah, I, I think the shirt is my favorite thing. Yeah. Um, no, everything too. else was... Show. Everything else was kind of meh. Yeah. yeah, I don't even remember what. It was fine I enough. I got, we got we got a tin. Yeah. Yeah. What what'd you guys get? I got Batman. Yeah, I got Batman. I got Iron, Iron Man. Man. You guys got the Iron Man. I, I like the erasers that were in it. At least you guys didn't. At least you guys didn't get like the My Little Pony ones that I saw listed. Yeah. So. Yeah. Or, we're not bronies. Or Iron <laughs> Patriot. Yeah, yeah, yeah Iron Patriot's cool. Yeah. No, I I just. Uh, I, I'm going to continue subscribing to Loot Crate for a little bit at least. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, but I, I just feel that the quality, because I was uh, I was on board from day one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, my membership card is wooden. <laughs> 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 and I have a three-digit membership number. Okay. Did nice. they laminate the wood? <laughs> <laughs> no. They, it's a, a wooden business card. I have it around somewhere. I'll show it to you sometime. Um, but uh, – I, I just feel that the the quality overall has gone down, um, and Sword keeps telling me that that's bound to happen, but I don't think it should really. Yeah, yeah they're trying to get new people aboard. Do you think they'd have better stuff? Um, right. I think, it, 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 and I like it because it does expose me to things that I wouldn't normally try out. So, like yeah. um, these, uh, was it Ener- Energems? Energems? Ener- I, I don't know how to pronounce these, but uh, I, I still have any caffeine names. candies. Um, we loved those, uh, 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 Missy and I, and to the point where we took the coupon and we're like, okay, where are they at? Went to the site. Okay, there's Dollar General. There's a Dollar General right over there. Let's go find them. <laughs> um, yeah, so that happened. Uh, no, and I, I'm not saying that it's bad stuff. I'm just saying that. Uh, the quality of the stuff has gone down. You, uh, do you feel, do you not feel like um, you're getting your uh, twenty dollars worth out of this? Sometimes no. Okay. Yeah. Uh, because I mean, I, for instance, the T-shirt for this one. Yeah. Ten dollar T-shirt. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because it's from Woot. Yeah. Yeah. And so I mean, that means the rest of the stuff, how little it was. Isn't really worth it to Here's me. Another I mean, Here's another I question. Here's another question. Oh, go ahead. I, I tried the uh, joypad covers. Yeah. And with the way I game, I, I had a blister on my my left thumb within a matter of hours. Mm-hmm. Oh really? Okay. I didn't even try those. So I mean, I, and like I said, I, I love loot crate. I'm gonna stick around for a couple more months at least. It, but it, it's just and the quality needs if, to pick up. And if and if you do unsubscribe, there's always a chance you can buy it later after yeah. you find right. out what it is. That's kind of nice. A little bit more, but you know. And actually, I was thinking about it, and there are other uh, uh, memberships like this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, for block. the same price. Sure. So has if I stop now. this one. Then I would just go find another one. I think it'd be nice, yeah. and maybe for this, for talking on this show about something nerdy like this, maybe it'd be good if a couple of us did get different ones and and, right. and went That's off a good idea, yeah. like like just and just compare. Yeah, yeah, I think that'd be great for a comparison point. Uh, so yeah, sure, I, I love that idea. So okay, 
Uh, we're going to move on to our next segment, which is brand new. Um, it's our high score. Um, Sorg, I think you have a, a review for us, an early review. Yeah, yeah. So the idea, we talked about this segment, and, and, and um, you know, granted, these are, aren't games that we'll, we'll have played through the entire thing or anything like this. This is kind of going to be a first impression kind of segment. Um, yep. and, and one that I picked up here over the holiday because uh, I love I love the app sales, especially during the holidays. I pick up a lot of stuff on my phone, um, and one of them was Call of Duty Strike Team. Um, I, I thought this was, and I didn't know what to expect from it, but uh, it got knocked down from. It's currently going for six ninety nine, both on the uh, iTunes and the Android app stores. Uh, but it was two ninety nine. I'm like, you know what? That's low enough. I'll give it a shot. Uh, let's see some Call of Duty. I, I was never impressed in the past. I've tried some of the trials for like the Call of Duty Zo Call of Duty Zombies on there, and of course, it's always kind of touchy doing first person uh, on an iPhone. Of course, it's also compatible with. I, uh, I would love to play this on a newer iPad, to be honest. I don't even want to try it on my uh, iPad 1, for instance. I grant that Auto, Auto 3 runs pretty sad on that thing. I, this thing's not going to run good. Um, so if, if you guys remember, uh, Black Ops 2, they had, I, did they call it strike team mode when we had, like, you could pop up to the map and you had, like, waves of people coming in? Wait, is that is that accurate? Horde. All of my, was it Horde? Oh, okay, Horde mode. Horde mode? No, 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 this is part of no. the, it was part of the campaign. Where, where uh, you could pop up and you were sending troops in and then you dropped down and you're one of the troops. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think yeah. it was a strike team mode uh, in that. So this is strike team. So it's kind of a takeoff on that. It, it's pretty cool. And I'll pull off a trailer. Uh, here's, the, here's the site. You can actually go to callofduty.com. Uh, I believe it's slash strike team uh, for info on this. I'll get you all the, you know, you can you see a little bit about it. Um, but it starts you off in first person mode. So you get a little bit used to that. It is, again, you know, being a touch screen, it's going to be a little goofy. I like that when they do uh, a lot of these, um, like when you're doing movement, a lot of times you can just put your thumb somewhere and wherever you put your thumb becomes the touch pad. So you can get your, you can put your thumbs where you're comfortable, you know, where you think you're going to be out of, you know, out of the way, basically. Um, but from there, you go through and it feels very Call of Duty. It's pretty cool. Um, but then, like at any point, you can pop up and here, you, you can pop up to the over, uh, the over map, and you're controlling basically two guys all the time, right? Uh, so you can pop up and and control them just as kind of a strategy game, or just drop right in and do uh, first person. Um, I thought it worked really well. I like the idea of, oh, I don't know about this situation, if I can see everything, so you'll pop up and just start directing people and tell them to attack the people, um, you know, getting through, like, you know, buildings, trying to infiltrate. Uh, and you can see a few shots there of, of what it looks. It, the graphics look great. I'm playing this on an iPhone 5S, so, of course, it's going to be the best you can get, at least on the Apple side. Um, if it wasn't another seven dollars, I would try it on my Nexus Seven, to be honest, because that's supposed to be pretty uh, powerful as far as that with these Nvidia graphics on these Android phones. Um, again, you know, a few levels into it, um, I didn't see. I don't think there's anything for multiplayer or anything like that. Um, but I can definitely see uh, Call of Duty fans kind of getting into this as as kind of a mobile fix as something different. Um, especially maybe like in between Call of Duties or something like that. I, I, I think they did, they did a really good job of getting that experience uh, kind of kind of down on that level. It's not as cinematic or anything like we like in the camp, like I like in the campaigns at least. I know you guys are mostly kind of more into it for the multiplayer, um, but I, everything's customizable. They do do a little of that. Um, you get hey come back. You got a, a tokens for the day or something like that. And I think they do have a little bit of a freemium model in there. It, although it's not free, you paid seven bucks for this thing, uh, which again is kind of high for for mobile devices. Uh, so again, it's Call of Duty Strike Team. Uh, I kind of dig it. Cool. Uh, sounds like a it's it's a fun like uh, little distraction from regular Call of Duty. It is. It is. I, it, it, it's something I, different. I know a lot of us weren't really digging Ghosts that much. Mm -hmm. So. But hey, yeah. I like to see them trying new new different things. They're going to obviously they are with Ghosts. Um, and uh, I, I think this this might be the right first step as far as trying to get this working on mobile. So um, it, it doesn't feel kind of weird, ass backwards like uh, Riz. I think you I think you're the one that brought up the Assassin's Creed uh, Pirates game a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. and that seemed like 
we just kind of took a feature of the game and kind of stripped it down and you're kind of playing an aspect of it. Like, this, this looks like the first version of a completely different game. It does, but it's enough elements from Call of Duty that you're familiar with it. Um, it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like they stripped a lot of, out of the game to stick it all on the phone. They just say, well, it's kind of like this version. And it is kind of like that version from Black Ops 2 that you would play. Uh, so I, I think it's a winner as far as that goes. As far as like a $7 game, if you're really into Call of Duty, I think it's worth it. Again, Android, um, iOS as well. Uh, looks like it's compatible very much so with the tablets as well. I think that would be a great experience for this game just from a little bit I'm I just think playing on the phone, I do wish I had a bigger screen with it. Like, sometimes I just feel a little bit cluttered. Um, that's that's probably my biggest complaint. But there it is, Call of Duty Strike Team. Bobby? Cool. Sounds like a nice uh, app to pick up if you're interested in it. Definitely. All right. Um, we're going to move on to our th things you should be made aware of, um, which is our news segment. Um, uh, Chachi, I think you had an article about uh, Games with Gold and the uh, nice little Christmas presents that uh, Microsoft gave us this time. Uh. <clears throat> As I, uh, I'm sorry. In the beginning of the article, I, I pointed out that the Games for Gold uh, kind of is hit or miss mm -hmm. um, as far as what they're giving away. Mm -hmm. um, as in December, the last game they gave away for the year was uh, Shoot Many Robots. Which is a good pick. Well, it, it's not a bad pick. Mm -hmm. However... Uh, the game is at least two and a half years old. Yeah. So it's not the best pick. Okay. And also, and also, uh, for what they're trying to do with games for gold, which is uh, get more subscribers to gold, you would think that the last game of the year that they're giving away would be a rather big one. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it, it wasn't, and uh, it, it's. I don't know. It, it seemed lacking to me uh, mm -hmm. because there wasn't really anything that really caught my eye. I, um, I, I picked up a couple games throughout the year and beat them uh, with Crackdown, um, Assassin's Creed 2. I played Fable for like five minutes. Um, uh, Halo 3 I had borrowed from Sorg and gave back because it was dumb. Um, so I, I, I mean, it, the things were lacking, uh, but it, they seem to be back on track because uh, the first game that you can download for free this year is Sleeping Dogs. Very good game. Um, and I never picked that up. It wasn't on my must get list. However, um, uh, you can't beat the price of free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, even, I bought it for fifteen good. bucks, and I'm, I'm very happy with the game. You know, so, I'm not even mad that it's free now. I'm happy that people can go out and get it for free. Right. Um, it, you can't you can't beat the price of free. Mm -hmm. And uh, the second one is going to be uh, an arcade uh, based an Xbox Live or PSN Network um, Laura Croft game, uh, Cradle of Life or something. Yeah, it's I heard that's good too. It, and, and this game is also uh, seen seen uh, some light on iOS and, and Android devices too, I believe. So, so I mean, uh, not bad picks. And I I, I gotta point out, uh, and I I mainly pointed this out for you, Sork, mm -hmm. because you're always hesitant about getting games because you don't have time to play them or you're so far behind on games. Yeah. When it comes to games for gold. All you have to do is confirm the purchase and cancel the download. Mm -hmm. And it's yours for life. Nice. So you don't have to download it. There's no set time on when you can play it. As long as you confirm the purchase within the 15 days that it's available. Yeah. It's yours. That's nice. And I wondered about that because it wasn't cl it wasn't clear when they first started this. Um, mm -hmm. and, and I'm definitely seeing the the um, seeing the issue with with storage. And I have a 120 gigabyte drive, of course. Um, yeah. So that's really nice that you can just like None throw these in your collection. Like like it feels like you know when I would just snag games on Steam, I'll get to them someday, kind of thing. So right, and and that's exactly what I did because. Uh, I, on the first of the year, when they announced that this game was free, 
I had just bought NHL 14. Mm -hmm. I was in the middle of playing NHL 14. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't going to stop what I was doing there Mm -hmm. and start a new game because I'm not Bobby. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to, if I, if I pick up a game, I'm going to beat that game to what I feel is completion or until I'm satisfied. And then I'll move on to the next game. I tell you what, you know, I had started GTA. I stepped back. I finished. I'm like, you know, let's see how campaign is. I, one, one thing I do when I'm playing games, I do pull up walkthroughs just to see how many chapters into a game I am. I, I can't do that, of course, probably as easily with GTA. Um, but I saw, I saw like, I was like, oh, I'm over halfway through. I'm going to blast through the rest of this. And holy shit, is that one short with with uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, yeah. Like, it felt a lot, a lot less than the other campaign. So I, I agree with a lot of people saying, eh, you know, it is kind of lackluster in that regard. But... Um, yeah, I, I love the idea of just stacking up that library, and now I can go back. Like, I, I played a little bit of Dead Rising. Uh, it's nice to, like, you know, maybe when you first get them, you're like, oh, I'll load it up, see what what's, this is about, you know, try it out. So at least you're, like, experimenting with more games. Um, mm, but then you were like, it, it's a really nice thing, and I feel like I'm getting more value. Even with something, you know, I, I kind of get kind of like, oh, I already have Shootmate Robots, but it's like, well, hey, everybody else has no excuse to grab it now, and maybe we can get going with some four-player with some new people or something, right? Yeah. Um, and it, you notice what they're doing, too. Um, I also noticed when they put these games on here, they almost always have a lot of downloadable content you can buy. Yeah. What's that, right. guys? They're, That's so they're what they're trying money. to sell. They're doing fine. They're 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 yeah. doing fine. So yeah, yeah. It, that's that's how they make the money back on giving the games away for oh, free yeah. is the downloadable exactly. content. Uh, I, it's just I, I I noticed that I for one, um, it felt like I was not picking up games. Yeah. Uh, just because I didn't want them, and then uh, the ones I did pick up were ones that I actually wanted, mm-hmm. but I wouldn't play. Mm-hmm. Uh, like Assassin's Creed 2. I, I picked that up. I was in the middle of playing probably Assassin's Creed 3 at the time, and uh, I didn't really need to be picking up another game. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, for free, and you don't have to download it. It's just right there in your collection. So, I, I mean, once I'm finished with Lego Marvel, which will take me another two weeks, um, because I'm only... I, I, the credits finish rolling, by the way. Um, oh, did they? Okay, good. Uh, but I'm only 14.5% done with the game. Wow. <laughs> and that was just story mode. Jeez. So take and, me 50 <laughs> years to complete. Yeah, it, w- it will take me 15 <laughs> years to complete. Um, <laughs> however, uh, I would just like to point out that if you haven't picked up this game, go get it. All right. Thanks for the tip. Um, I, I also suggest getting Sleeping Dogs. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to pick up Laura Croft, Guardian of the Light, because I haven't played that one. All right. Um, we're going to move on to our next story, uh, which is about PlayStation Now. Uh, they just announced it today at uh, CES in Las Vegas which I saw them setting up for CES, and I wanted to stay in Vegas until it was time, but I couldn't. Um, but the, the play, what PlayStation Now is, it's their uh, streaming PlayStation games um, service. That they, they announced a back, but it, it officially has a name now, um, and it's off the Gaikai uh, Game Network, streaming network. Um, and they announced that you'll that at, at launch, um, The Last of Us is going to be available, and um, Beyond Two Souls, um, which if you haven't played The Last of Us and you can, and you can on a PS3, I suggest picking that up. That was one of my top games of the year. Um, they haven't announced a price or anything like that, um, but it's going to be in closed beta starting in January. And hopefully they plan to roll it out in the summer. Um, and, and they also announced that if you have like a tablet, you'll be able to play those, those games on a tablet. Somehow, I have no idea how that's going to work, um, but um, they'll let u- users with uh, Sony – the Sony's catalogs of games are going to be on any device that connects to their service. So um, that could be tablets and laptops, I, I'm guessing. TVs. Yeah, TVs. So that, that's the thing. There's a graphic where it says – here, let me pull it up. And We talked about this. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is actually my awesome thing of the week on the Awesome Cast. You can check oh, nice. out. Over at SorgatronMedia.com. Uh, so, so there's the devices, the Playstations and the Vitas and everything. But then it's like, hey, okay, there's a graphic. 
PlayStation Now, and I haven't listened to this yet. Uh, PlayStation mm-hmm. Library of Games, you see in the middle, and you see those devices we talked about. Then you see televisions, tablets, smartphones. So mm-hmm. I, ideally, the way I'm interpreting this, all these games in your collection that are being streamed, it doesn't matter what device you're on to play them, technically. We'll talk about controllers and everything otherwise, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, but, but And obviously, these are likely going to be Sony products you have to get a sony tablet yeah. you have to get a sony smartphone you gotta get a bravia tv it's not like i'm going to be able to uh likely i don't know Play maybe they will <laughs> maybe they will open up for android you know who knows i i think they'd be smart to do it um mm-hmm. but but you will have to buy into sony one way or another with hardware uh in order to take advantage of this but man if if you're able to just you know play these on your tablet and you're playing playstation 3 4 games that's really, really tempting. That is, that's kind of game changing there. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if you can confirm this too, so I, I think somebody said today they announced the um, the Vita TV is actually coming to America too. I'm not really sure. Oh, the the box. I didn't know it wasn't coming to America, but but it, that's okay. exactly a thing. So if I get the Vita TV, mm-hmm. I can play these games on my TV without getting a PlayStation 4. Is that what we're talking about? Is, this, I'm, is I'm that hoping. the gist of things? I mean, it sounds like it to me. At least like old games. Even if it's just going to play PlayStation 1, 2, 3 games, I think I'm kind of sold on that idea. Mm-hmm. Anything on the PlayStation Network would be great. Yeah. So Because they even have PS2, PS1 games. Mm-hmm. So that'll be cool. I think that. Uh, Riz, Bobby, or I'm sorry, Riz or Chachi, do you, do you have any idea? Mm-hmm. Uh, any thoughts on this? Xbox for life, fool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I think it's pretty cool what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it's good in theory. Mm-hmm. I want to see what it does in like person. That's the thing. I, I think or in demos or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is it going to be laggy? Is it? Who knows? That's going to be the thing with service like this. Like when we talked on live about on live before, the the internet has to be perfect for this to work. Mm-hmm. You know, you got to think you're playing a campaign of a game and you have the same problems as when you have lag playing Call of Duty. That can be a problem, and it has to be really, really lowered and and not annoying. So yeah, definitely something to look out for. Bobby. 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 Steve. Bobby. I don't yep. know if he's frozen or he fell asleep. <laughs> no, I'm, can, am I, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. You're back. I think, okay, okay. I think we've been having some I'll, pauses with you, so. I'm sorry. It's all um, right. No, no, no. Yeah, I think something's going weird with the internet. I had a computer. good segue, and it just was blown, blown to crap. <laughs> <laughs> all right, segue. We'll, we'll pretend none of the this happened. The segue was another company had uh, announcements, um, and I, I believe they had 13 of them. Uh, Riz, you want to take take the Steam Machine announcements? Steam Machines. Yeah, they announced not one, not two, but 13 different boxes that you can get for Steam. 13 different companies made these boxes. And I'm looking at the, the Alienware one. I, I put it posted in the, uh, on the Insert Coin to Begin page. Alienware is the only one who didn't have any specs, didn't have any price, but you probably figure that's going to be it's a, a little mis- pricey. It's but a but they, theirs is the prettiest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But there's all these different things that you can have. If you're if you're re- very into, like, personal gaming and nobody else touching your games, you can get the gigantic... Digital Storm Bolt 2, which is just looks like a giant uh, tower made for a, a gaming computer. Did Did anybody make the Okama Game Sphere? No, I'm, I was <laughs> I was surprised that wasn't a thing. Um, and like the the thing is, they make them big. They can make them small. In fact, there was one that they didn't show, and I posted this in the also on the my page on Instagram coin begin, uh, yeah. where it is four by five, four 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 point five, four point two, two point three, and the guy who made that comparison compared it to a sandwich. <laughs> 
And let's sandwich. look at it. It looks very tiny. A steam sandwich. sandwich. And it's 0.89 pounds. <laughs> oh. It is a sandwich. And <laughs> it's, that's the thing. You can have mobility in gaming if you want to get that. If you want your own little thing, you can have something bigger. You have one that actually looks like a router. Uh, and there, there's so many different variations of this machine that many, many people have made so far. And there's only more because I, I, I have a feeling there's going to be more. But these are just the ones they've announced so far. They've mm -hmm. th these are the ones they just announced at, at uh, CES. I still kind of want the Alienware one, even though I know it's going to cost me um, the. the a lot of money. <laughs> well, yeah, probably the more than what I lost in Vegas. Probably by far <laughs> my favorite so far. Um, okay. Second only to the uh, main gear, which wasn't announced by uh, Mr. Newell, mm -hmm. Mr. Gabe. Um, but yeah, if you want to check it out, check out my check out my article on Encircling Them Again. Also, I have a the website for the all of the listings and all of the little tidbits that everybody likes, like the graphic storage RAM and all that stuff, as I'm not privy to, you know, the inside workings of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're inter interested in looking at that, just go to my site and see it. All right. Sounds good. Ah. We're going to move on to our final round. This is our last question of the night here, or the podcast day, whenever you're listening to this. Uh, what are your gaming goals of two for 2014? Uh, Sorry, let's start with you. Uh, for me, I'm actually endeavoring. I, I told my wife last week, I was like, uh, we have date night. I, I've just determined, and we'll see how well this goes. Uh, Thursday night is going to be video game night, because I think she needs she needs to play more. She needs to de-stress a little bit, and she hasn't mm -hmm. played much recently. Uh, so so that's what I'm going to try to try to get going. And then I make sure I play, too, and, and, and it'll be good. And, and, you know, the couple that plays together stays together. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Chachi, it's what are you doing? Chachi, I, I don't know. I, I don't really. Do you want us to come back to you? I, I, it's just I don't. I don't really have any goals. Okay. That's where video games go. Um, I think the only thing that I'll probably accomplish this year that I didn't accomplish last year is pick up an Xbox One. Okay, it's a good goal. Um. Uh, Nintendo is dead to me. <laughs> yeah, they're, um, not, they're not giving you a lot of reasons to go over that way. No, and, and it, I mean, Hyrule Heroes isn't a uh, yeah isn't a reason either. So that was a pretty sad yeah, announcement. So uh, yeah, um, it's dead to me. <laughs> All right, Riz, what what do you what are your goals this year? Along the same lines, I want to get a new console. Mm -hmm. That's that's pretty much what everybody with an Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Nintendo 64, they all want a new console. <laughs> I don't I don't a care Nintendo if it's an Xbox 64. One or a PlayStation 4. Oh, you care. Except if it's a Wii U. Where's is going to get an um, Atari Jaguar? Oh yeah. <laughs> I sure as hell hope I don't get a CDI. <laughs> um, right. but Hotel yeah, Mario, man. As of right now, that's the only goal that I can see me trying to get. Nice. Awesome. awesome. All right. my, my gaming goal this year finish is game. to go back and finish more games so you guys stop making fun of me. Finish Good a game, goal. Bobby. Good goal. Go beat the game, Bobby, and also um, stop lagging. Apparently, <laughs> and get new internet. <laughs> it's not my internet. I don't know. I don't know if it's his or ours. To be honest, I have no. And idea. move the Pittsburgh. Yeah, that's another move. Move, move the Pittsburgh, Bobby. All right. We have new car yet? yet? All right, that's going to do it for us this hey, week. Hey, hey, Bobby, um, Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Yes. I, I got to point out something really cool is happening in the chat room. 
Chachi. Okay. Uh, while we've been talking and we we talked about our new name boss battle for the show, the great Alex Cars, who's done the t-shirts, of course, for Wrestling Mayhem Show at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, uh, now available on ProWrestlingTees.com. Oh, nice. Uh, he dropped Plug. us a new logo. What? Yes, I like it. Oh, look at that. Wait, wait, there it is. There it is. Ooh. Boss battle presented by Insert Coin to Begin. Let's just check that out. So, uh, oh, I like it. Work that in. So, I like that. I like that. Uh, uh, hold on. I'll see. Let me see if I. Uh... No, I don't approve that. What? <laughs> Jeez. No. All right. <laughs> Well, now that that's out of the way, <laughs> get, get me another workup. <laughs> you can follow you can follow us on at TV dot com or on on, on Twitter. Uh, you can go to the website and go to insertcoin to begin dot com. Articles going up daily now, um, and you can join us live every week uh, on at eight o'clock Eastern time on live dot dot com. PM. And um, we want to thank everybody again for um, supporting us in our let's in our um, uh, extra life. Uh, we raised $1,010 this year uh, and we're going to do it again next year on October 25th. So keep an eye on that. And Chachi's doing his um, uh, Chachi plays for kids as well. So that's two big things coming up for us in, in 2014. More goals, raise more money for kids. So um, with that, game over. <laughs>